In this screencast, I'm going to explain the difference between the two procedures that are inherent in Visual Basic, uh, subroutines and functions. Uh, subs can be executed by running it from Excel, so you can do that straight from Excel in the Developer tab, or you can associate a button with the different subs. Um, you can also run it from the Visual Basic Editor, um, or it can be called by another VBA subprogram. Subs can be created with the macro recorder, or you can type it in from scratch. Subs can have zero arguments that provide for values to be input or output from the sub. The syntax for subs in VBA starts with just sub, and you have your name, and you have your optional arguments. And again, 99% of the time, the optional arguments, this is just going to be empty left and right parentheses. And then we end the sub with end sub. So let's go through an example. We're going to just create a simple VBA sub that's going to ask the user for a number, and then it's going to square the number in a, in a message box. So this is an example of just a very basic sub. So functions are the second type of procedure in VBA. It's a VBA subprogram that can be executed by using its name in a VBA expression or in an Excel formula. Functions return values in place of their names. Functions cannot be recorded, but must be typed into the editor. Functions can have zero to several input arguments. Syntax looks like function instead of sub, and we have end function, and you have the name of your function and your optional arguments. Let's go through an example. Let's create a function called savings that will calculate the total savings given the principal, interest rate, and time in years. What we want to be able to do in Excel is to type in, in a, in a cell, equal savings and we have the three arguments we have the principal the interest and the number of years and it ends it gives us the savings at the end of n years so i've typed this into the editor we have function savings and the way that you declare variables you don't have dim statements inside functions instead you say p as double i as double so those are real numbers p and i n is only going to be integers, so you can dim it as an integer, takes up a little less space. The output that's going to be provided by the function is a double, so we put it at the end. You put the expression, the equation here, so the output of a function is always the name of a function, and that's equal to the equation, p times 1 plus i to the n. And I can uh, put this into a cell on the spreadsheet, just like you would another function, and we get our result. So just a little bit of a debrief here on functions. Um, all functions begin with function. The function above in Excel, you call it in Excel by typing in the function. P, I, and N are internal spaceholder variables. When I write this in the editor, they're only used in the VBA code. I could have just as easily written A, B, and C as long as I replace that. I have A, B, and C here. They're just used internally in that function. The value assigned to savings is output in the spreadsheet cell when the function is called. Functions don't have to be simple. They can be super complex with loops, if-then statements, and so on. Every open macro-enabled workbook can use functions in any other uh, open macro-enabled workbook. Real quick, I wanted to show you an example of a function with no arguments. This would be similar to pi. The golden ratio is equal to the square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2. It's just sort of a number. I could define a a function gr, which will just give us the number, so 0.618. I've also got a, a more complex example here of a sub that has arguments. And this, what this is going to do is it's going to delete rows on a spreadsheet. So I could say I want to delete rows 4 through 7. The sub needs to know where to start, so it's going to start at the 4th row. It's going to finish at the 7th row. And we have a sub here, run delete rows, that's going to call the delete rows sub up here, starting with row 3, and let's go through 7. So if I run this sub using F8, you see that it jumps into the delete rows. We've passed arguments 3 and 7 into the sub on the spreadsheet. We're selecting rows 3 to 7, and then we can delete those rows. So that's an example of a sub that might have arguments. Alright, hope you enjoyed this screencast and thank you for watching.